Hey guys, this is Mike Glover. I'm going to show you the uh, entire process for uh, downloading and installing the software and the driver for the tweaker on Windows 8.1 64-bit. Right. I prefer to work from the desktop and go to Internet Explorer. Uh, tweaker.com and the download page click on or right click on these two items and save target as and we're going to go to the downloads folder and save that's done <clears throat> then we'll go up and if you get this just uh, for right now uh, close that and download the BDE and same thing there minimize this your folder go to downloads before you actually run these, we need to uh, set some properties and set it to run yeah, as XP Service Pack 3. And on the BDE, we're going to run it as administrator. Apply and OK. And right click <clears throat> on RT132 properties. Compatibility also. So if it, if it's not set to this, a lot of times it'll come up like that. Go ahead and click it and make sure it's on Windows XP Service Pack 3. And then we don't need to run this as administrator, so apply and OK. Now we can run VDE. Go for the install. Take a second. You can ignore messages like this. It's an older piece of software, so some of the uh, features have changed in Windows. And double click RT132. Yes. And next. And next. Just take the defaults and install. And once this is finished, we can go to our local C drive, and it's going to be under the x86 program files, CalEdit. You can see everything's here. Now there is a, um, the, the version that's installed is 13250. There's an update that we need to grab. And it will start and I will we need to come over here and force close the auto update. And then close program. And now you can continue because it's gonna this update has an update to the auto update exe and won't override it if it's uh, still open. All right, so now if you go to CalEdit, it should say 13272 and CalCon is uh, 51. Now make sure that uh, you make use of the user guide that's installed here. Uh, it's got a lot of very useful information in regards to uh warnings um, um, orientation of the switch installing the hardware um, features of Calid and so on so make sure that uh you look for that all right and now we will get and connect the hardware and go through the install process which for Windows 
seven, 64 bit and eight and eight one. Uh, 64 bit is uh, a little bit of a hoop to jump through. So, all right, guys, now that we have the uh, software installed, we're going to have to go through a, a hoop to get uh, Windows 8.1 64 uh, bit to uh, allow the driver to install once you connect the hardware. Now, you can do this sitting at your desk uh, inside in the comfort of your home. You don't have to be out in the car, you do not need the PCM out of the vehicle, all you need is your laptop or PC and the, the tweaker hardware. So first thing we're gonna do, um, oh, and let me know that this is running in a virtual machine. So uh, when you see it reboot, uh, it's gonna look you know, a lot different than what you're, you're, you're looking at. So uh, don't be too concerned about that. First thing we need to do is uh, go to settings and then change PC settings and update and recovery and then recovery and advanced startup restart now now this isn't a full restart it's just going to come to this other screen giving you more options to troubleshoot where we're going and then advanced options and then startup settings, which will allow us to uh, disable the driver signature verification. So click restart and your PC will actually do a reboot here. And it's a Oracle virtual box that I'm running. All right, and it talks about uh, press the number to choose from the options below, use number keys or function keys, F1 through F9. Uh, the F uh, or function keys is the row of keys above your numeric keys, and I uh, recommend pressing the F7 to disable driver signature enforcement. So I've just pressed that and it will continue to load and it has temporarily disabled the driver signature verification so uh, if for some reason the process fails you need to go through all of these steps um, to disable the driver signature verification uh, each time you have to attempt it so we're going to go here and we need to go to uh, the control panel. There's a couple different ways to get there. If this is the start screen they usually come to, you can click to go to apps and come over to control panel and it will take you here. Now, if, um, and, well, let me actually continue, uh, click on hardware and sound and then device manager. Ultimately, you want to get to Device Manager. Now, at this point, we can connect the tweaker and plug in. You get the little chime. And I don't think um, Windows is going to prompt me or anything. So uh, I can right click or double click uh, on the uh, tweaker option. If I right click, I take update driver software. If I double click, then you click here for update driver. And now we're going to browse your computer for the software. And my path has already been entered because I've been through this a million times. But you would just go to your local C drive and then program files x86, CalEdit and driver. So you want to make sure the driver is in this folder box and then click OK. Make sure that include subfolders is checked and then next. And if you get this window then you should be basically good to go. Just click install this driver software anyway and it will take its sweet time and get it installed. Believe me, uh, mine was fast on because I've install this before. If you haven't, it, it can take 30, 60, 90 seconds before you'll see this this box. If you don't see this 
a message that Windows has successfully updated your driver software, then you may have either a, a virus protection that's causing an issue or one of a, a Windows Defender or, or something uh, keeping it from installing it, and you'll have to go through the entire process again as you determine what's uh, causing the issue. All right, so it says that the driver is installed properly, but we need to go to, um, sorry, we need to close this and then reopen it so we get the advanced tab and disable the load VCP so it won't load this USB serial port. And now if we disconnect the tweaker and then reconnect and then go check the properties again and advance, make sure that's still unchecked, we are good to go. And now you can go to um, uh, Calida here and be able to do a um, communicate with it. The trigger is going to be blank unless you order the tune. Um, and if you did order a tune, then you can click read here. Uh, this RT that I've connected has my uh, Power Stroke uh, tune on it, so I'll click uh, read, and I'll read all four banks. And I go over here, and you see all the data is correct. And here under the hardware uh, details, it tells you that it's a Tweaker RT connected. It has two four. It's set up for two four bank tunes. Uh, the hardware build stream, which is hardware version 5.5, uh, batch 10, actually 20, but um, uh, our uh, RT and uh, firmware 00E with the Atmel flash memory, which is what we use on the RTs, and we use Micronics memory on the uh, base and flip chip modules. So at this point, uh, we have full communication and uh, should be good to go to start doing some tweaking. If you have any issues, uh, questions, uh, subscribe and post on the uh, Yahoo uh, user group. Um, that's where I'll, our primary point of support. So when I do ask questions, uh, sorry, answer questions, uh, you know, I'm answering them from everybody, and, you know, we're building a knowledge base. Uh, and there are, you know, we got over 3,000 people on that list. So, you know, uh, make sure to make use of that. And um, you can also uh, make sure that in the Calid folder, there is a user guide. Make sure that you use that because it has a ton of good information on using the software as it currently is. Uh, hardware install warnings, um, how to, you know, a lot of details regarding uh, um, registers for logging. Um, and it's a work in progress. I'm still working on it. So uh, just uh, make sure that you uh, put it to good use. And uh, hopefully this helped, and we will uh, look for you on the uh, Yahoo group.